Hello Aquarius, how are you? I hope this finds you well. So we are going to be doing your what you need to know in love right now reading and everything that you need to know, whether it's about this reading or scheduling your personal readings, all of that is in the description box below for you. And we are inviting your angels, spirit guides, and ancestors to come in and assist us with this reading today. All right, Aquarius, let's take a look and see what is going on for you guys. We have the Hierophant. The Wheel of Fortune, the Ten of Swords, at the bottom of the deck we have the Queen of Wands. Signs I'm seeing we have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Taurus, you got Fixed Energy, Taurus, Scorpio, Aquarius, and Leo, as well as Gemini. Now, it is a general reading, so it could be any signs, but those are the ones that are sticking out to me at this time. I do feel like there's somebody here that you guys have experienced an ending with, with this Ten of Swords. I do feel like with this Wheel of Fortune, somebody's moving back towards you. So I do feel like you can expect to hear from somebody here. I feel like there's still a very strong, undeniable physical attraction and chemistry with this person. And I feel like this person knows that they're very good looking. Uh, like, I feel like they are, I don't say that they're arrogant, but maybe, I mean, a little bit cocky here. I just feel like somebody, you know, somebody knows that you're attracted to them. Like they know that they're good looking. I feel like they have a lot of confidence. I feel like they have, um, like very smooth words or something like that here. Like they have a lot of, uh, I don't know, swag. Does anybody say that anymore? I don't know. They have a lot of swag, okay? That's what I'm going to call it. And I feel like the one thing I, I'm going to say here is I do kind of feel like this person's even kind of expecting you to be waiting for them. Like, they, they know that things ended, but they, they really didn't think that you were going to go anywhere, Aquarius. I'm not sure how to feel about that. You know, the one thing I will say, though, is I do feel like in the past, somebody may have been a little bit um, noncommittal. I feel like that has shifted here, though. I do feel like that somebody is moving back towards you in a much more uh, committed energy than they have in the past. So let's see what this is about. If, if people don't say that anymore, tell me tell me what the new word is. For, <laughs> I think I'm behind on the times, guys. We got this page of pentacles. I definitely feel like you guys can expect some kind of uh, message, some kind of communication here. Yep, Wheel of Fortune again. So somebody's definitely moving back towards you. But I do feel like there has actually been a shift and a change here, especially with this hair font, because I feel like I said, I feel like this person may have been a little bit noncommittal in the past. Um, I don't really feel like that now. I do feel like somebody's ready to, you know, take this a little bit more seriously than they did in the past. So some of you guys, this could have even been just like a friend with benefits situation or like a fling. They Maybe they weren't looking for something serious. Look, four of wands here. I mean, this definitely has some potential here. We got the four of wands and the hair font. Both of those could even be cards of marriage, but they're definitely cards of like taking something to a new chapter, a new level. You know, I feel like this is going to be very surprising because like I said, maybe you guys were just always friends with benefits or, you know, maybe it was just very casual. This person was very noncommittal, but they're coming towards you in a totally different energy. Um, I really do feel like you're going to be very surprised by this. I feel like this person may even be surprising themselves here. I got this page of swords here. So I feel like... Some of you guys, either you've been watching their social media or they've been watching yours. And this King of Swords, I feel like this King of Swords is your energy, Aquarius. I do feel like, well, it is your energy, but I also feel like you could be a little bit hesitant or just feeling a little bit detached or a little bit guarded because of how things were in the past. But I also feel like there's going to be some just very direct conversation. Um, you know, the Knight of Swords is the, or the King of Swords is the only one that faces you head on. Um, it talks about being very clear, being very direct. I feel like somebody is, I feel like you guys are going to have some very, uh, very direct, open, honest communication here. And I feel like you're, you're both going to be very surprised. Um, but especially you, I feel like you're going to be really surprised by this change in them. There's a lot of attraction, a lot of chemistry. And I feel like this actually does have a lot of potential here. We get to look and get this 10 of Pentacles here, the Hermit in the reverse. So, especially if you guys have been out of communication for a while, it's like somebody's about to break out of that here. So I really like this for you, Aquarius, but that is what I have for you. I do hope that this helps. If this resonates, let me know. If it doesn't, that's okay. Just check out your other placements, everything that you'll need to know, whether it's about this reading or scheduling, personal readings, all of that is in the description box below for you. And if you want personal prayers for any reason, 
You can just put the little prayer emoji in the comments down below and I will go through and pray for you. But if this is where we part, thanks for being here and I will see you next time.